welcome to Panthaki Learn. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Today's session known as image compression. Image compression it is nothing but it is a part of process to reduce the size of the image according to the storage. So here we have many types of uh, image storage like uh, in the form of the formats jpg jpeg dot bmp or known as bitmap so this kind of different different formats has each and every size of storage according to the person whoever captures the photo once whenever we take that uh, respected camera uh, like uh, dslr or a high clarity 4k cameras so all the resolutions will be high and each and every uh, variation of the resolutions will be changed according to the different different formats let it be for mobile camera if you are taking photo it will be in png at the same time there are options for jpg also some of the mobile cameras some day uh, most of the DS, uh, dslrs will be storing the data in png and if you are taking screenshot from your system that is stored in png and if you are just using that particular dslrs in high quality means they will be using jpeg and at the same time if you are recording a video in that means they will be providing mkv so these are all different different types of formats and this format will be varying each and every types of quality or the size for example jpg is little bit high of the uh, quality over here so from that particular high quality if you want to compress that particular section means uh, therefore we have we will be able to compress that complete size alone so what they will do means many of them will try to zip it zip that particular file and they will be sending it to the mail or at the same time they will be uploading that uh, that image directly towards the mail or through the google drive and they can share it uh, to avoid the losses and the same image if they are sending through whatsapp means it will be reducing its clarity definitely it will be reducing its clarity and after reduction only the receiver will be able to see that particular image so this kind of uh, functions can be said as the image compressions so this our main motto whenever we work on this image compression means uh, we have to focus a uh, compression without the losses okay so on the on that particular sections there are two types of image compression known as lossless compression and lossy compression from that lossless compression whenever we are working regarding towards this lossless compression the main motto is nothing but whenever we are converting into any format let it be for any format the image quality should not be lost over there and at the same time the weightage or the size of the image should be reduced for example from 100 kb to 50 kb it has to be reduced but there should not be any loss in its quality and what is that particular quality either it may be 240 pixels 720 pixels or 1080 pixels if you are converting a 1080 pixels into 500 kb means from 800 to 500 kb means therefore that image still should be in 1080 pixels it should not reduce to 240 pixels over there for example whatever that particular compression we are seeing in the youtube or any other video streaming uh, inside our uh, web pages like amazon or uh, netflix like that and all they automatically will be switched according to the network speed once uh, they have reduced or converted the pixels means therefore that is completely a lossy compression the same thing if we are just uh, seeing the same view in any speed of network even though the compression the size has been reduced or whatever it has been done that is known as lossless compression over here so this lossless compression they have been generally used to reconstruct the data or tolerate any of the difference between original as well as the reconstructed data there should be just any differences for example we can say uh, scanning the paper if you are taking a black and white uh, paper which you have uh, printed that will be the original document of your system or whatever that application okay so after that if you key use the scanner and if you take the particular thing then again if you are taking printout means both will be looking same so that is uh, commonly said as lossless compression the compression which does not create any kinds of difference between original as well as the reconstructed data that comes under the lossless compression so how the lossless compression lossless compression can be applied into the matlab for image processing purpose okay so this will be our setup 
code. So now here completely it is created in the form of GUI. After taking that particular GUI, first we have to provide the input image with the help of the push button. And after uh, providing that input image over there, it will be taking any form of image, BMP, JPG, PNG, anything. So after that file info will be printed. So the name of the file, the size of the file is most important. Okay. And uh, therefore their particular parent image also will be displayed over there. Uh, in my uh, particular GUI, it is not able to display it properly. So after that, here we have to create another one uh, particular push button to reduce the size. So for that, here first we are calling our uh, double section because whatever the image we have read previously, that image should be converted into the double data. So from the double data, here we will be applying the DCT matrix. DCT means discrete cosine transform, which comes under the functions of lossless compression. So from that particular lossless compression or to reconstruct an image, a flopped image, here we will be using this discrete cosine matrix. And from that, here we have to block the process. Okay, so what are that particular discrete matrix? It will be stored in the T and the block process will be enabled. So this will be the matrix size. So this is nothing but uh, that particular uh, conversions. Okay, P1 into P2, it is named as that particular variable. There is no such uh, function over here. So from that block process here, we'll be taking for that particular respective matrix 8 comma 8. So that is nothing but T comma T slash. So T slash, it is nothing but uh, the matrix inverse. Okay, uh, the transpose section. So for the transpose only here, we are taking the data because all the DCT values are taken in the form of matrix. And this will be the masking value to maintain that particular image in the same compression. Okay. And after that, here we are taking the next stage of block process. And from that, here we will be adding the mask towards it. Now, inside the second iteration part, here we have to create the block process once again. And like this, here we will be creating the three different sections. What is the purpose of creating the three sections means? Because whenever we are creating that particular uh, conversion, conversion of image uh, into double format, definitely the losses will be there. Okay. So before going into that particular losses section here, we have to mask the image with multiple layer where that particular layer will be stopped or will be eroded like in protection stage. So from that protection stage only here, we are able to maintain the clarity of that particular converted image. Okay, so finally we are calling all the variables into the concatenation part and therefore all the masking layers and the iterations will be covering up that particular image. Once after conversion, the image will be stored into my folder and therefore that particular compressed image, all the data will be displayed over here. So this is known as lossless image compression. So here I am taking select an image. Once again, I will run. So this is known as a lossless image compression. Select the image. Okay. After selecting the image here, everyone can see the size of the image. Now compress the image. Let us wait till that particular compression happens. Yeah. So therefore the image has been compressed into 97 KB. Now let us go and check in that particular folder. So this is the original image and this is the compressed image. So now we can just compare and see. Okay, so this therefore any of the resolutions or anything they have not compressed only the size has been compressed over here. So this is known as the lossless compression in image processing using DCT. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel.